Uh, in this video, following on from the, the concept of lowest common multiples, which I covered in the last video, uh, if you haven't seen that video and you want to uh, sort of remind yourself of, of how you work out lowest common multiples and that sort of thing, um, I recommend you, you'd you watch that video before coming back to this one. So anyway, in this video, what I'm going to be doing is, so, is, is we're going to be working through two problems which involve... Uh, finding out the formula of a compound given its systematic name <coughs> sorry so the first question says what is the formula of iron oxide now this question has basically given us two main pieces of information uh, and it's basically given us the the fact that the the, the compound contains iron and oxygen since it's iron oxide and it's given us the oxidation state of iron, which is free here, free plus, which has been given here. Now, from the rest of from this formula, we can also deduce that since oxygen is very much more electronegative than iron, if you look up at the periodic table here, oxygen is up here, whereas iron is here. Oxygen is a lot more electronegative than iron. Where was I? Here I am. And so oxygen has its usual um, oxidation state, which it has when it's combined with um, other elements, which is 2 minus. And we know that the overall charge is 0. And so using the idea of lowest common multiples, we can construct an, we can construct an algebraic equation which, which involves iron, oxygen, and overall charge. So let's do that now. So iron has the three plus charge so I'll represent I with the letter I instead of the element symbol I just write I as an iron so I so free I as in not being a charge um, this is basically an equation representing the charges and through that we can work out the number of atoms of each um, element so free I minus 2O equals 0 and what this means is uh, because oxidation states means the means the um, the the relative sort of the charge on of each element. Um, if it was an ion, but per atom, in in the formula, we're looking we're, we're basically saying that f for every ion atom we've got a charge of plus three, and for every oxygen charge we've got for every oxygen atom we've got a charge of two minus. So. By through solving this equation, we can work out the number of atoms of both iron and oxygen. So let's do that. So if I move the 2O to the other side, so 3I equals 2O. Um, before I continue with this, I want to just say that when we're solving to find out the formula, we can take it to be as though we're trying to find out the empirical formula of that particular compound. And so looking at it from that perspective, we'd probably be looking for the lowest lowest numbers in the formula. And so if we look at this, what we need to do is make this equation, if we put in numbers here, we need to make this equation um, legit. We need to make it uh, work. And so what we need to do to solve this question is find the lowest common multiples of 3 and 2 so that we can multiply them by that so that this equation works and so that it's actually um, a true equation. So if I take 3 and 2, um, these are both prime numbers. So to find the lowest common multiple of these numbers, I just need to multiply them together. And 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. So the lowest common um, multiple of 3 and 2 is 6. And so to get these two numbers to, to 6, I know that I must multiply 3 by 2. So therefore, 3 multiplied by 2 equals 2. And then to, to get this part to equal 6, we need to multiply that 2 by 3. And so the significance of this section of the equation is that we've now found out that in the formula, there are two atoms of iron because we're multiplying it by its charge 
and there's two atoms of oxygen i mean three at three atoms of oxygen because we're multiplying it by its charge obviously this has been moved to the other side but yeah and so therefore from this equation this basically tells us what the formula is from this equation therefore the formula is fe B, this is the symbol of iron fe2 o3 and so this is the formula uh which the question has asked us to find so yeah now if we move on to the next question the next question says what is the formula of a phosphate ion given that it has a charge of three minus so this question is similar to the previous question in the sense that we've been given um We've been told, we've been implicitly told the fact that this formula contains phos phos um, phosphorus and it contains oxygen because of this phosphate section. So if you remember like sulfate, nitrate and all of those, um, this fate means that it's combined with oxygen. And this, this phos part, this prefix of phos indicates that it's phosphorus combined with oxygen. And so we know that it contains phosphorus. And this this here tells us that the phosphorus has an oxidation number of three. So now we know that, okay, let me just close this quickly. Uh, uh, okay, good. So therefore, um, okay, the phosphate, phos phosphate has a charge of three. And oxygen, if we go up and look at the periodic table um, up here, we can see that the phosphorus, which is, where is that? It's probably, yeah. The phosphorus is um, further away from the fluorine and oxygen. So therefore, phosphorus is more is less is less electronegative than oxygen. So phosphor, phosphorus isn't going to be as greedy with electrons as oxygen is. Therefore, oxygen is going to have its usual oxidation number of two minus, and there, so so using that information, we can construct an equation, and I'm going to use p to represent the phosphorus. So, therefore, um, three p, three p, plus no minus two o equals, and this would be equal to the overall charge of that um, ion, and this is particular is a this is a compound ion, so. The compound ion's overall charge is three minus, and so this is our equation. And so now, now we need to solve this equation in order to find out the these two values. And so, what we can do is is okay, whatever this comes to, this needs to be um three three less than this so this needs to be um if we were to take away the total of this from this needs this needs to be three less so we need to find out the lowest numbers that fulfill that condition so therefore three if we multiply something by three uh, mm, We could actually use probably um, two and uh, um, actually we could use one and one and three because yeah. So if we were to put one in here, so three multiplied by one uh, minus um, two multiplied by three, we would find that. Um, if we multiplied if we if we if we worked what this worked this out we'd find that three uh th that would come to three minus six and that would be equal to minus three just like what we've seen here it's equal to minus three and so therefore we know that this is a um uh, a legit equation here so this is this is cool Therefore, from this equation, we know that there's one phosphorus atom and there's three oxygen atoms from this. 
And so therefore the formula of the partic this, this particular compound ion must be P, oh, I just wrote a B and I said P, okay, let me just get rid of it. The formula would be P, O, three, and then the overall charge, three minus because we found out there. So this would be the, the the formula of this compound ion. So yeah, hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions, let me know.